Judge, today's case is monster-in-law. Today, we have the trifecta. A brand new baby, a meddling mother, and a video game. I feel like fussing already. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Selena Adjaman and Jamarcus Spates. Ms. Adjaman and Mr. Spates, you have been together for four years and you have one child together. Mr. Spates, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here in divorce court today? Well, Judge, uh, I got one particular thing to say. It's either me or her mother. I'm putting my foot down today, and it, it, it gotta get resolved. So he, her mother is dipping in your relationship? Her mother is always dipping in our relationship. Okay. Let me tell you about this one situation. It's one night we've been, we've been working, and we've been working all day, you know, so we finna go to the club. <laughs> Next thing you know, we getting ready. Next thing you know, she's knocking on the door. Oh, head did, nails done. Dress on. Okay. Then. Like, I, I, her I, mother? You mad? Her mother. <laughs> her mother. Yes, her mom. I'm like, uh, you know, I, I ain't think nothing of it at first. Maybe she had a date or something, but you know? Right, maybe, right. maybe she had a little something going on. I start listening to the conversation. She start asking Selena, where we going tonight? What we doing okay. tonight? That's where we mom, finna man. go? <laughs> what you worried about what we doing? Judge, you a respectable older lady. I know you not too. Oh, <laughs> That's all right. Don't, don't be afraid, young man. Don't be afraid. It's okay. It's all right. I am a respectable older lady. I own it. I own it. Go ahead. But you know, I, I know you're not trying to go out with your with your 20 year old kids to see what they doing tonight. Right. You no, know, you're not trying to run along with them every weekend. You know. Right. Like it, it's just like. Ms. Edgerman, is your mother running with you on the weekends? I mean, not all the time. We go out. That's my mom. Like, we like to hang out together. He just Yeah, that's jealous. your mom. He's just yeah. jealous. No, He's just jealous. jealous, first of all. That's my mom. Going to club. Like, we... <laughs> like, we... That's what we do. Like, we... You don't tough. think we're it's like... bizarre to take your mother out on a date I mean, with your man? Oh. We don't do this every day. I mean, it wasn't even a date. We was just, like, going out, casually club. going out. It wasn't a date. And so, yeah. he's just mad, like... My mama trying to mommy, We're, like, best friends, so I don't take her every day. Oh, like, man. it's what? not every time we what go out. That? But, I mean, I, I mean, once, in, once in a while... Mr. Space, Mr. Space, Mr. Space. If he had a, a, a buddy... That it was his best friend. Would you want him alone on your he outings? Has. He has brought his friends along when we went out before. So I don't understand what's the problem. 20 year old friends. But, not not but no 40 year old man. Okay, but not no 50 year old friend. Somebody along. My mom, oh, you know, right. my mom is like my best friend. So well, give me another example of, of, of a time where you believe her jealous. mother overstepped her bounds. Let me tell you a, a, another thing. It was one day she had to stay home sick from work. Yeah. She's throwing up all night, just sick. Just sick. I mean, she could barely even walk. <laughs> we sleeping all day. All you hear the phone ring, and she picking it up every time. Her mama telling her, you come, you come uh, upstairs because her mom lives in the same apartment building as us, but uh -huh. upstairs on the top floor. Okay. So she over here calling Selena. Uh, Selena, uh, you could come, uh, you come do this, you come do that, you okay, come walk the dog. Okay, that's my mom. Uh, you see? Okay, you now see? you do it extra. You see? That's my what, mom. What you... Did your mother ask you to do stuff for her while you were sick? Yeah, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but I mean, that's my mom, like, we I understand. You know mom. what I mean? You talk, you say that's my mom? Yeah. We all have one? I know. Man. Or did at one point? And we all love them, and we're all, you know, what we're saying to you is it seems a little unusual the level of commitment that you two have beyond the daughter mother relationship. How about that? Like, I respect my mom. If my mom tells me to do something, I'm gonna do it. I've been raised, but that's how I was raised. Mm -hmm. So, and he, I just feel like she didn't care devil. that you were sick. She didn't give I mean, I didn't tell her I was sick. I wasn't that sick. Like, he's over it. He's overdoing it, you od and Like, it was not up, that sick. Up in the toilet. If I'm you're able to... Up in the toilet. I was, that ain't... Oh, man, really? you better pass out. M Mr. Really? Spades, tell me one more story <laughs> that would, would and, and, and suggest to me her mother is beyond... This is the deal breaker right here. This is the deal breaker. Oh I'm, playing, I'm playing Call of Duty all night. Call next, <laughs> next thing you know... No, no, no. I'm, I, I, I've been at work all day, though. Uh. I've been at work all day. She, she brought up the little argument, you know, uh, you, you late, you know what I'm saying? Come on, you know, this and that. Uh, I'm here. So, next thing you know, it, it's a little argument. You can't even, you can't even hear. And the next thing you know, it's a knock on the door. Who is that at the door? I doubt Is that it. the big bad wolf? 
I oh. doubt it. Hey, open the door. What y'all arguing about today? <laughs> what, what the problem is? What the problem is? Every time, I'm like, we over here arguing about what we gonna eat tonight. What you, what you doing? What, <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Ms. Edgerman, did did she come and knock on? Does she come and knock on the door when you guys are having arguments she, and in, intercede on your behalf? Okay, now I call One her. Day I called her looking through the back though. You no. call her. <laughs> I call her. I call her sometimes because like it's overwhelming. Like I'm tired of arguing. What with do you her. argue about? If I ask him, if I ask him to just okay, for instance, my the baby. If I ask him to do something for me, if I'm busy right now because I do hair, so I'm doing hair. I'm asking him to watch the baby, and that's the problem. And so, like, he don't understand. He don't understand. Like, I'm busy at the moment. You know what I'm saying? And so... He, he thinks just, he can work and play Call of Duty yeah, and everything else just, is optional. Like, he's just free. Like, he don't got nothing to do. So, well, when you I'm get busy. upset with him, you call your mother? Yeah, I call her. Well, let's call your and mother it, right now. Okay. Oh. Oh, they finna call the wolf. They finna call the wolf. <laughs> Mrs. Adjuman? Yes, ma'am. How are you? <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm doing fine, Judge. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Why don't you tell me your beautiful daughter over here, she's sitting here with Mr. Spates. Mr. Spates says you spend um, too much time in their business. Please give me your point judge, of view on that. Okay. Okay, Judge. Um, first of all, it, it should be my business because I'm the one taking care of my daughter. Every time I have to come over there and he's fussing with my daughter, the neighbors calling me because I stay upstairs. They're calling me, telling me that um, it's commotion going on downstairs. So they're, they're calling me, and I have to go and see because I don't want him putting his hands or, or making her upset because she just had a baby. The baby is only three months old. As far as I heard what he said about me going out and stuff like that, I don't go out with them. He says that he's going to work. I wonder what job he has because I'm the one paying the bills over there. And I have to go to work every day. And I have a pacemaker and I'm 50. So, yes, I'm going to spend time with my daughter. And that, yes, she is my best friend. So, if I have to step in and be there, I'm going to step in and be there. Okay. Thank you very much, Mrs. Ogerman. You were very clear. I appreciate that. She's supposed to take care of the kids, cook, clean, and all that kind of stuff. No, Judge. I, I'm always with my daughter. I'm always with my daughter. I if you, you had a dog. If you, if you... <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, now yeah. I want to do that. Okay. But... Touché. Mom says that she's paying the bills down there in your apartment. What do you say? First of all, before I even moved over there, they, they had the apartment free. Come on, well, how the rent get a free apartment? How is it free? The, the rent only $300. Who can't pay $300 a month? Come on, now. Do you pay $300 a month? I'm, I'm, paying, I'm paying the water bill. I'm paying the gas bill. Let alone, uh -huh. let alone, I'm taking care of her every you day and quit. my baby. Come you on, now. You need to quit. You Come on, need now. to quit. You need to stop. Let's be real. Does he work? Now, Ms. Ms. Ajiman, does I'm Mr. Space real. work? Do you work, Jamal? You know I work. <laughs> I work every day. Do you? I'm at work all the time. You don't you know? know that. I feel like he's lying to me because when it comes to financial, where is it? Where's the proof? So it's like you saying you Does got a job. Does he go to a building or somewhere every day? <laughs> Not every day. He be at the house playing Call of Duty. What do you do for a living? Nah, Judge, I have a lot of jobs. <laughs> I have a lot of jobs. Here we go. No, I'm wait. No, I'm wait. I have a lot of businesses. I do construction. Uh -huh. I'm a comedian. <laughs> I, I, I do everything, Judge Labor. I do it all. Anything you can think of, I do. But my main Please job, me, my main job know. is taking care of my daughter. That's my main job. Okay. And we, well, and, and, wait, and, wait, but we need money. Like, oh, I, I You want to say that when I gave you $400 but, last week, though? $400 win. Come on. Let be real. When? Let be real. You acting like I'm just, I'm just coming in. Just, you know, let me ask you. Put me as, 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 oh, no. Ms. Algerman, who primarily pays the bills in your house? Well, I've been paying, uh, paying half the bill. My mom helps me. And he pays... It's only $300. He pay, it ain't $300. It's you, $300 that you're not paying. Exactly. Oh, but it ain't $300. Because I pay the water bill, the gas bill, and everything else. Does he pay the no, water bill? No, he don't pay the all them bill? bills. As who bought a baby He may have paid the water bill twice. But he ain't paying it like that. He said to me that his job primarily was taking care of the daughter. But what you told me earlier was that it's difficult to get him to do that 
exactly. as opposed to the game. Give me some examples of times where you've tried to get him to participate, but he simply would not. Even just, he thinks because I'm the woman that I have to do everything, change the diapers, um, uh, feed, do all the feedings, everything, cook all the time, you know, f wash his clothes all the time, you know, things like that. But he can't even bring home money for me all the time. Like, you do know, you expect her to do all those wifely duties? She's supposed to take care of the kids, cook, clean, and all that kind of stuff. Is that what you're looking for? That, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm no. just wanting to know if it's your thing. No, Judge. See, one, th one thing, I, I'm always with my daughter. I'm always with my daughter. I if you, you had if, a dog. If you, if you, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, now yeah. I want to do that. Okay. But Touché. I'm mm -hmm. always, I'm always with my daughter. I tell you, if, if anything, I'm with her, I'm with her the most. I'm with her the most when she leave. I'm with her the most. I'm well, calling her, I asking her, where you at? Somebody bring the bread and I'm, the butter in the house. Come on, huh? Somebody gotta bring the money like in the house. Nine hours, not Are even you back to work yet? Oh. Yes, ma'am, I'm back to work. I'm a traveling stylist, and I do hair in the house sometimes. Oh, okay, okay. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, so when you are out doing hair, does he look after the do yeah, your daughter? He does. Uh, he does. Does he do a good job? Oh. He does a good job. He's a good dad. I'm not gonna... You're not gonna take that from me. Right, exactly. He's a good dad. Yeah, yeah. But... We need money, so... We need money? We got the money. Baby clothes not that expensive. <laughs> but she's getting, that, she's getting older I every day. I go to day Walmart and get, and get about 20 onesies for $10. Come on, let's be real. <laughs> let's be real. Shut up. Come on. Don't say real no more. Please don't. <laughs> she's feeling like she's not loved. She's feeling like an appliance. You know I love her. That's not enough. I show it all the time. No, you don't. I do no, it. you don't. You're in divorce court. <laughs>I'm just asking. I want, I you know, Ms. Argument, part of being a woman and a mother is knowing what you want. What exactly do you need from him? You need to articulate it specifically. You feel mm -hmm. like you're not paid attention to. Yeah, like, you don't feel you don't feel wanted and loved. You need to tell him exactly what it is you need. Just oh. like compliments sometimes. Like he don't care. He yeah. he will take me like one time, for instance, um, we usually go, we usually like do little stuff, go to the movies, you know, regular stuff, like we're young. But like, I just want to feel special sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I want to go to nice places. And so I was explaining that to him. I let him know that. So one day I'm at work and I get a call from him. He telling me, he like, oh, well, yeah, you've been telling me this. I've been listening. I'm going to take you out um, somewhere real nice, real special. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. I'm like, OK. He's trying to step up. He's trying to, you know, be a man now. Right. And so I'm excited. I'm telling my coworkers, ooh, I'm going to go on a date, finally. Yes, ooh. So I, I'm, I get off of work. I go home, take a shower, you know, do my hair, do my makeup, get real, real, real cute. Mm -hmm. So he come pick me up. And so he like, just sit back, close your eyes. I ain't gonna tell you um, where we going. So I'm just sitting back, close my eyes. So um, far, it's sounding pretty good. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. so, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it do for now. But um, okay, so we riding. He like, I'm thinking we it's gonna take 30 minutes to get there. It took what five, 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, dang, it's somewhere close. So, um, so I'm my eyes still closed. He like, we pull up. He stopped. I open my eyes, and I'm just in shock. <laughs> that I'm really looking at the Popeye's chicken sign. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, well, that's our favorite place, I'm Judge. Like, that's our favorite place, Judge. I'm like, she love Popeye's. She love Popeye's. At this point, she I don't need even... Popeye's all week. She love Popeye's. He wrong for that. Oh, that you know problem. you were wrong for no, that. That's you think you funny. that was wrong. You think that's you funny, like... Place. Now, you know, like Beyonce said, what, take me to Red Lobster? <laughs> he can't even do Some that. Some people eat Popeye. That's been about thirty dollars. Mr. Spates, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell Stop you what kept. your problem is. I'm gonna tell you what your problem is. Your problem is you got installed. You got installed in his house as a handy dandy appliance, and that's exactly what he thinks you are. You take care of him, you take care of his needs, you take care of his kid, you take care of the money, and he can be an intermittent man. 
he can hand you $400 here and there and feel good about it. But he's not responsible for the rent. He's not responsible for the food and the, everything. He's just intermittent. Mm -hmm. And you've allowed him to be intermittent. It's not your fault. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to fuss at him in a minute. Right. Because everybody's always telling, you know, why do you let him? You know, men are grown. Right. And I'm not saying he doesn't love you. But I am saying that you're so invested in the situation with him, he doesn't have to worry about maintaining the situation. Now, Mr. Spates, you need to live a life that is a little higher than your circumstances allow. I think a lot of young dudes get away with doing a whole lot of not much at all because, we, because we've, we've disassociated marriage and, and being a man and being a, a provider from being a dude that can knock somebody up. And now we're in a situation where you can make a decision simply not to provide and support, and you'll be fine because some woman somewhere will take you in, will hold your hand, will have your baby, will cook your meals, will make sure everything happens, and you can play Call of Duty. Let me make a call to your sense of duty. Your duty to her, yep. your duty to your community, your duty to her mother, your duty to me as a fellow old person. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we looking to you so when I'm really, really old and got a cane and walking around and I could look up and I say, see these brothers over here? They got my community handled. Yes, ma'am. Are you gonna be that dude? Yes, ma'am. What you got to do to be that dude? I just gotta stop playing Call of Duty. <laughs> More than that. Talk More than you. that. I, 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 do play, I do play the game. I do play the game a lot. You know, I you do. You think everything's funny. And, and you know, I know, I know I might be, you know. Games are for boys. Children are for men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't do both. You can, you can play video games, but they can't be your life. Yes, do you understand that? Right. Yes, ma'am. And, you know, don't let your needs go unexpressed. You make a game plan about where you want to be, what you want to do, and how you want him to contribute. And you demand that he do so. Not fussing and arguing, but, you know, uh, I don't make meals for men that don't work. I don't know why you would. I don't know more. I got a job. You can cook I got a job. You know, she's, she's feeling terrible over there. She's feeling like she's not loved. She's feeling like an appliance. You know I love her. No, that, like, that's not enough. I do. Don't, that's not enough. I show it all the time. No, man. you don't. I, Judge. No, you don't. You're in divorce court. <laughs> You're here for a reason. Judge. Judge. Uh, 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 when I tell you I no, love, no, 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 I love I'm this done. woman. I'm done. I'm you, done. You, 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 love unexpressed is worthless. That's right. You with me? I'm with you. I'm with you. Woman up, man up, and get out. <laughs> this matter is adjourned. All right, how do we feel today now that you spoke with Judge Lynn? Everything was good, it got resolved. All I gotta do is just stop playing the video game. And that's what I'm gonna do, because I love my woman, and I'ma stay with my woman. A ain't nobody else gonna have my woman. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, we good. Just told her thank you for everything. <laughs> <laughs>